Hey there, it's Maggie, Grammy with a Hammer, and I'm talking today another tool review. This is about my table saw. I've had it for, I guess, like almost three years now. I bought it during COVID. It is a Ryobi 15 amp, 10 inch um, portable job site saw with the stand. I actually picked this one out because one of the people I follow on YouTube has it, DIY Danny. And I like the idea that it broke down because, as you know, space is limited. So I looked it up to see how much it is right now in Home Depot. And I'll put a screenshot here. So right now it's $229 at Home Depot for it. Um, so overall the price is very good. Um, but I figured I'd show you right from the beginning all um, the pros and cons from it. And the first one is setting it up. Okay, this may not be the best view of me, but it should be a good view. So on this, you got to unclick it. And then it drops down. Then you got to pull this back up. realign it and then I was pulling it from this side but that's the adjustment I worry about that so I've started going around to this side and pull it up now as you see it's resting on the side with the cord so that can't be good now, I do love the fact it's got wheels so I can roll it in and out of the garage and no. Next, I'm going to show you its tabletop. Tabletop is quite scuffed up. Now, I know you see a green tinge. That's actually because I've been using this turtle wax on it, the soft paste wax, to try to see if it would help it. But I don't know if anything's really going to help it. Okay. Okay, so it has the ruler measuring thingy here. These I found are pretty accurate. I haven't had an issue with that. Um, another side note, and I know I can make my own zero clearance, but I can't find any place to buy a zero clearance for this. Um, I've checked on Etsy and stuff, and people just don't do zero clearance for Ryobi's. So this, it's square enough and everything's square enough. It's square. I've actually had more, had more issue with the blade. I'm going to pull it up. I've, it doesn't like to cut a straight line. And I've changed the blade multiple times. I think the thingy on the inside is a little bit wonky. But I do what steve ramsey says you know and make make him go like the opposite way so that they all line up no matter what you know um i did make a cross cut sled for this as a video a while ago and it seems to work really well so accessories it came with the wrenches that you need to change the blades with it came with a miter gauge thingy it was flimsy plastic I actually ended up using the track on it to make my crosscut sled. <laughs> Spare parts. Issues I've had. I tried. Okay, so underneath, this is where your shop back is supposed to hook up. I've hooked it up there. I've tried the bag. It has this little thingy where you can also hook up one of those bags. And it doesn't work. It still gets sawdust everywhere. Now right here, is come loose, which may be part of the issue because as I tap it, more sawdust is falling. The fact is, it's a job site saw that's, when I bought it was less than 200 bucks and it's a lot of plastic. So, but for a beginner saw, it's really hasn't been a problem. Now, I'll try to zoom in, but see here, this back plate has all gotten rusted and that honestly is probably from the cheap construction pine that I use in a lot of my projects because the moisture from it even though it's kiln dried and everything 
It's got a lot of moisture in it and it's rusted out a lot of the metal. Okay, but so the underside, and this is me trying to keep it clean. It just, because it's plastic and stuff, it's just worn out quite a bit. When you turn this on, sawdust goes flying everywhere, just everywhere. So just accept it. One of the things I do is I'm outside when I use it. I don't use it inside. Um, also, I tend to have a big shop, back, uh, shop fan behind me blowing the sawdust that way. <laughs> um, and I wear my safety glasses. I know I should wear a mask. I don't wear a mask enough, but I am always outside when I use it, and I always have the fan blowing the opposite direction. So it's pretty stable, but I am concerned about the stand. It's starting to get a little wobbly when it's in its pushing, you know, I don't know what to call it, dolly stage. But honestly, for three years of breaking it up and down, up and down, up and down, that's kind of to be expected. The blade change is not hard at all. To be honest, the first time the blade got changed, my neighbor did it for me. I didn't. But these last two blade changes, I've done my own, and I've been able to do it. It's not extremely heavy, but unfortunately, I think that's because most of it's plastic. This tabletop is not level and square. It doesn't even pretend to be. And I've noticed that now, which I don't know if you could see it. I'm going to drop the camera down and see if you can see it. Okay. I don't know if you can see it or not really, but see there's... I don't know if you can see it. Focus. So these, I don't really know how to make this camera focus. Well, there's a little lippy right there. And so it doesn't get completely smooth. Okay. So after this review, pros and cons of the table saw. Pros. Beginner friendly. First of all, the price. It's like 200 bucks. If in a month you decide you don't want to do this, you can sell it on Facebook Marketplace for like a hundred bucks, maybe even more, get your money back. Second of all, it's an easy table saw to learn on. As much as table saws are easy. Okay, it's simple setup. It doesn't have a lot of gauges. It has the simple, you know, wind the blade up, wind the blade down, and turn it at an angle. That's it. Um, the blades are easy to change. It comes with the hardware you need. It doesn't need special amperage. It's just a regular plug-in. So for a beginner, when you're ready for a table saw, I think this is a good beginner's tool. Cons. It's a $200 table saw. It's got a lot of plastic. Okay, we saw about the face plate. Mm. Um, accessories, there's not a lot of accessories for it. It really is a job site saw. It's made cut down plywood, cut down two by fours and stuff real quick. Um, it's plastic. I have, because it's not the most highest grade metal, I do have some rust on it from like the pine and stuff that I've used. The stand after a couple years has gotten a little bit wobbly and I have waxed this top to no end. It, it's just not going to be slick. So used cross-cut sled with it. The cross-cut sled was an amazing addition to it. So that's helped out a lot. Now I will say the dials and stuff. Now the handle go up and down. It's real easy. But let me show you the knobby to change the angles. Okay. Okay. So see, can you see the, let's do that. Can you see the blade goes up and down really easily? I swear it does. Okay. So that goes up really easy. 
not hard at all. But let's see if it'll focus. Focus on here, focus on here, focus. I don't want to focus. Okay, so back here, which again, stupid place. This is the bevel lock lever, which that's what that says. You just can't tell. So you have to twist it like this. And then you have to move it all the way over. And then lock it. Okay. But look, if you look over here, I don't know if you can see it. that black triangle, because I know you can't see it won't focus, is 45. See the red arrow? We're not there. Okay. So I put that there. How do, what do I do? Do I go like this? So you can see it? You still can't really see it. So it's saying 49.38. That's not 45. So that's an issue. Okay, so this sliding, it's got the levers, which I wish they weren't plastic. Here. And so, see, it says 17 there. So I'm guessing from 17. Oh, okay, yeah. So it'd be 17, and we'll see how far it goes. So it goes to 28. So you do get another 10 inches, which is nice for plywood and stuff. Okay, so knowing what I know now, would I have purchased this table saw? Absolutely yes. I love it. It has stood by me. I would recommend this 110% to anyone who is a beginning woodworker. Three, four years down the road, I'm now looking, I may want to upgrade a little bit but more just for the fact that the wear and tear this has had on it for three years. I mean, it's been three years. And it's been with a novice, beginner using it and using it wrong and, and having no idea how to maintain it. So it hasn't been maintained properly. So things got rusty and pieces got lost and it got scratched up. So yes. For a beginner woodworker, all day long. And even an intermediate woodworker, all day long. Like maybe purchasing this brand new now that I would know how to maintain it, take care of it, make my own accessories for it, things along those lines. Honestly, I'm thinking about maybe, I've been seeing a lot of those with the rechargeable batteries table saws. They're only a few hundred dollars more that could charge on my with my solar panels and then I could literally use my table saw in the middle of my front lawn which just sounds amazing to me plus the thought of you know a newer saw maybe the whole shop back thing might work because that's been an issue I mean yes I realize sawdust is like glitter but it, it's ridiculous so. anyway so that is my review of my Ryobi table saw I do recommend it. Do want you to go into it with open eyes, though, and realize there's some downsides to it. And, you know, you've seen my videos. I'm wearing safety goggles. I'm wearing hearing protection. I'm wearing blue jeans. Um, you know, I'm being careful. Well, I say I'm being careful, but I'm usually wearing flip-flops or socks. But besides that, I'm being careful. So... Okay, so if you like this tool review, give me a thumbs up. If you don't like my tool review, tell me what I did wrong. Am I still trying? Yes, okay. Okay, I had stopped the video for a second. A neighbor came by and I had to show off my birthday gift from my dad. Which, let me show you, by the way. I know none of y'all actually care. But the, like, three of you that's related to me. These were Grampy's Plains. And my dad cleaned them all up, sharpened them, fixed them. Like this one and this, no, 
this one here was actually missing parts. So my dad was able to find some parts to replace it. So, and then out of his own trees in his yard, he cuts down mills and everything. He made me this case for my birthday. But anyways, that's a side tangent. So yes, it's grandma approved for a beginner this table saw. Just always remember, be careful. Wear your hearing protection, wear your eye protection. If you're using pretty wood, especially use a mask and respect the saw. Oh, side tangent, which I don't even know if this will make in the video or not, but just side tangent. The reason I loved, I love saws so much, especially during COVID. This is a whole side story. I was very stressed out during COVID. There's a shocker, healthcare worker. And they're like, oh, try meditation to help relieve stress, blah, 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 blah. Okay. I don't know if you met me or not. Sitting still for meditation didn't work. So I was doing some DIY projects in the house. So I was using a saw. And something I realized is I was so afraid of the saw that I like super hyper focused on it and on all the safety rules and everything else, my brain was cleared. And I realized using saws was like my form of meditation. So, so however you find your peace in your soul, if it's by a vibrating, loud, dangerous tool that gives you tranquility, Go for it. Talk to you soon. Bye.